So, you know, here in the Pacific Northwest, a lot of people will go to a place to cut down their own Christmas tree. And like, we, we want to make it a family event. Uh, there's usually hot cocoa and, you know, on a fire and whatever. But also there's this other thing in the Pacific Northwest in the wintertime called rain. Yep. And so it's usually rainy at the Christmas tree lot and it's muddy and it's wet and my kids are whining. And I always get to this point. Well, not always. Historically, I get to this point where <laughs> uh, like a Clark Griswold quote is running through my mind where he says, this is going to be the hap, hap, happiest Christmas since Bing Crosby tap dance with Danny bleeping K, <laughs> right? And he's got this like raised look on his face. It's yeah. like, this is going to be a happy Christmas. That's right. Right. And so I think, I think for me, there's like, there's so much expectation yeah. that it's going to be good, right? There's so much expe expectation that I'm, I'm going to be a good dad this Christmas, mm -hmm. right? That we're going to connect perfectly as a family. And, and I have the expectations mixed with the pain from my past of family and, yep. you know, like my broken family and Christmas as being at different places. Like I have all that mixed in. And if I'm not processing it, then it's going to erupt on my kids, you know, in a moment where it's like, you know, I'm getting upset about them trying to find the perfect Christmas tree. Yeah. Right. As opposed to me that day earlier understanding, oh, Bob, you're feeling stressed out. Like, make sure that you're just like taking some deep breaths and mm -hmm. checking in and giving your kids the space for this to be like an adventure instead of you being yeah. so task oriented that, that you're not there to participate. In this.